Two Minute Tuesday. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt. This is Dwight Creatives, and it's time for Two Minute Tuesday. So let's put two minutes on that clock. Now, the other day we were about to go out, and I was trying to dig through my cameras to figure out what I wanted to bring. I wanted to use something I haven't used in a while, and I came across this. This is my Canon EOS 5D Mark II. I want to know whether this was still a good camera in 2024. I would say yes, it is a great camera to be using in 2024 with a minor detail, which we'll get into. Now, it is an older camera. I've had this for probably... I want to say at least six years, probably way longer than that. This was originally released in 2008. So this is a 16 year old camera. It has a 21 megapixel full frame sensor and does do video. It does 1080 at 30 frames. One of the things I fell in love with was Canon's color science. And of course you're going to get that. This camera delivers sharp and detailed images with a high dynamic range. Now I'm going to include a few sample photos here that I took when we went out. And I think those look great. So this camera shoots up to 6.5 frames per second and it has nine points for their own. The body of this is a magnesium alloy, so it can take a beating and it also is relatively weather resistant. My one hesitation, if you're a hybrid shooter and considering this, just know that you're gonna have to use this as a full-time manual. And what I mean is when you're focusing, you have to control the focus. There is no autofocus when you are recording video. For myself, that's not a huge deal. I've been shooting long enough where I can make that work. But if you're just starting off, that is something to note that I would say that I would use this more as a dedicated photo camera. It does do 1080 and it does up to 30 frames. So you're not gonna get 4K at 120. Most of the time when you're uploading to your social media sites, you're gonna be using 1080 anyway. Now I'm gonna include a few sample clips of video footage up here. Two minutes gone, right? I think those sample clips look great and something that I could use for my workflow but let me know, do you think that would work for yours? Now, who do I think this camera is for? I think if you do landscapes, architecture, or studio work, I think this would be a great camera for you. Now, if you're doing something that involves action where it's fast paced, say sports or wildlife, you might find the autofocus system a little more basic. The current lines out there are a lot faster, maybe so do. Now with the 5D Mark II, you used Canon's EF mount, and with the EF mounts means you have access to Canon's or Canon lenses. Canon is known for having really great lenses out there and because it's EF, which is their older line, you may be able to find some really good deals out there, but it is Canon glass. So they do hold their value for a very long time. I still use some of my EF lenses on my RF mounts, which is their current mirrorless line. Now price-wise, this is gonna be on the lower end because it is an older camera. How much does it cost? What's it going for currently? With the body alone, I've seen going for around 200 with a lens to, to maybe four, depending on where you're looking. All these prices may change day to day and of course on availability. If you are looking for one, it may take some time to find the right one, but there are pretty good deals out there. So final thoughts, right? Do I think this is a good camera for 2024? Yes, I do. I do think this is a great camera for a beginner or someone looking to invest in something a little bit more than your basic point and shoot. It gives you full control so you have your shutter speed, your ISO, and your aperture. You're able to control all of that. Again, this will give you access to Canon's EF lenses and because it is a little bit of an older camera, does have some age, you probably can find some pretty great deals out there. In the comments, let me know if you're planning on picking this 5D Mark II up in 2024. If you have one, let me know how you like using it. Do you still use it? Is this a camera that you would recommend to other people? And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.